But we begin tonight with Mark Namick on the state of the race here in Ohio. Mark, let's begin with the fact that when this campaign first began, Ohio was not seen as the big player like it was in years past, but that has seemed to have changed in the past week or so. What happened? Yeah, Ross, that's right for sure. The polls changed. You know, for months now, it has been a dead heat. And that is something that both candidates are taking seriously. The president has been here six times this year. Likewise, Biden and the ticket have come here since the first presidential debate at the end of September six times as well. Ohio, you know, wasn't supposed to be this blue, so to speak, because in 2016, president carried it by eight percentage points over Hillary Clinton. But at the moment, it's still a, a toss up with uh, the latest poll and the last one we're going to see by Quinnipiac University shows Biden when adjusted for the margin of error, having a slight lead right now over President Trump. Russ? Mark, of course, this, we've seen some staggering early voting driven in fear in part about the coronavirus. You've been to the boards of elections. What are you seeing there? Well, let's start nationally. 100 million votes cast already. That's stunning for sure. 70 percent of all the votes counted in 2016. That trend is following here in Ohio with now, right now, 3.4 million votes already cast. That's 60 percent of what was cast four years ago. Now, Secretary of State Frank LaRose said today he is predicting possibly record turnout of 75 percent or more. You got to go back to 1992 in the race between Bill Clinton and George H.W. Bush to find that kind of turnout, which was close to 77 percent. You know, right now they're expecting more than six million people tomorrow. That's a big deal, Russ. And you had a third candidate in that 92 election, Ross Perot, which brought even more people out. Mark Namick, big day tomorrow. Thank you so much.